Good morning everyone. We are pleased to present here the last results associated with a new paradigm in the low risk prostate cancer management, a transrectal needle based targeted treatment of localized organ confined prostate cancer. This feasibility study has been led in collaboration with Professor Van Veldhoven, Eric Godard, Antoine Leroy and Patrick Henry. The treatment of a specific area on the right patient selection for targeted therapy remains today a technical and clinical challenge. Such therapies require first an appropriate patient selection, diagnostic tools allowing to precisely define targets, and localized, manageable, repeatable energy compatible with a mini-invasive procedure, a tool to guide with precision and safety the energy on targets, and finally a system to confirm the treated area and follow the patient condition. The work presented here proposes a solution to ensure appropriate patient management and optimal targeted treatment. The first part of the solution is 3D cartography with multimodal diagnosis allowing a 3D target definition, organ-based navigation and prostate follow-up. It allows to guide, for instance, a needle-based energy either with transperineal access or with transrectal access, following a biopsin-like procedure with an 18 gauge applicator. The second part of the proposed solution is microwave energy. Microwave suction is associated with the forced agitation of dipolar molecules like water molecules generating friction energy. It induces denaturation of the tissues via coagulation necrosis. This energy presents several advantages such as a low dependence to thermal conductivity, electrical conduction and impedance. Some studies are those shown, for instance, allowing heat sink effect than for radio frequency ablation. The microwave action is mainly linked to the relative permittivity of tissues with this generally higher in tumors. The safety and performance of this solution has been evaluated first with preclinical in vitro study aimed at furnish a first approximation of the ablation shape and variability, then a first in human allowed to refinement of the abacus on prostatic tissues. The first step of the preclinical validation was performed on several tissues in order to evaluate the sensibility of the treatment to the tissue kind. On this trial, 123 measurements were obtained with full warmed animal tissues. The microwave system cut-off coilis was used. The link between the log of the microwave energy and the diameter D of the ablation is supposed to be linear. A multiple linear regression was performed between the measured diameter D and the log of the energy we added to meet group as a categorical variable. The result is presented in the graphic. One can observe first that the logarithm model is perfectly adapted. Several meat kind could be fused. The maximum variation between the group and the mean of all groups is about 2 mm. A low sensibility to the tissue kind is thus observed. A second preclinical trial was performed in order to create an in vitro abacus predicting the ablation dimensions on Pocloin. Among the tissue testers, Pocloin is the one which seems the nearest to the prostate. 16 measurements were performed on warm meat. A temperature correction was done to obtain the diameter at 37 degrees. The length is modeled as a linear function of the diameter. Some points of the abacus are presented here. The statistical error on the diameter is 1 mm. A third preclinical trial was performed based on the in vitro abacus predicting the ablation dimensions on pork loin. Simulation on the energy firing was achieved based on the usual fusion procedure. Beside the biopsy row target, the area based on the abacus was also displayed during the planning phase. The microwave energy firing was applied on the energy monitor in power Doppler during the procedure. The next step of this evaluation is the validation, the refinement of the in vitro abacus with human prostate data. A first case is presented here. A patient benefiting from a radical prostatectomy gave his consent to participate in a first human trial. Before the removal of the organ, a 19-gauge microwave applicator was put in the right lobe through abdominal access. A treatment with a power of 15 watts and a duration of 3 minutes was then performed. After the removal, the organ was cut in 3 mm slices. A grey area was observed on the microscopic view and measured. The ablation dimensions were 25 times 20 times 15 mm, in good accordance with the in vivo prediction. An hemorrhagic sufficient area was observed 
on histologic analysis today of the intervention. To conclude, a first validation of the in vitro abacus shows that microwave was a repeatable, controllable and low tissue dependent tool. As the first patient case shows, it can help in the choice of appropriate treatment parameters. Further studies are required to validate these results. A phase 2 clinical study is now about to be launched pushing in the same direction. Thank you for your attention.